Hey, welcome back. Z Thunder here. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, shotguns. You know, they really do suck. I was trying to use them on shipment and level them up, and I was going for the gold camo. And doing so, the hip shot and the uh, hip fire, I should say, and the uh, no uh, attachments challenges. Those seem to be very difficult because I was trying to do the hip shots and it's very inconsistent. If you're aimed directly on someone, you'll notice it won't always count as a kill. And these were all in hardcore, everything you're seeing filmed. Um, I'm going to include some short clips of hit markers I was getting and then practically dying right after that. Um, I practice or I used each shotgun. I'm almost done with the shotgun portion of the gold challenge or the Damascus, but they really do suck at hip firing. I guess the R9 and the VLK with the Dragon's Breath, those are the only two real good shotguns with the hip fire because you could get quite a good one shot kill range. But they're kind of useless and regular if you're any more than, you know, from one side of the containers to the other. From, like, the spawn sides on the uh, uh, shipment. And anything further than that. And it's really difficult to get that one-shot kill. I noticed if you put the people on the edge of the circle, you're more likely to hit them with more than two pellets. But... If you don't do that, it's really difficult. Now, the 725 is the only exception I'll make. Because it's perfect. You add the short barrel with no stock, or you leave the stock on. And the uh, slide of hand, I think is what it's called. Yeah, for the reload. And you can hip fire all day. It'll hit qu people at good range. You can aim down sides really fast. And then you add the choke onto that, and you got no issue hitting people. It's like, a, it's what every shotgun should be. But the way it was before, every shotgun shouldn't be like that. So, I don't know. The two shots really does limit it, though. As you can see, I'm, even though I'm aiming directly at someone in some of these shots, I'm still missing them. I'm not getting hit markers. I'm not getting anything. Now, I don't know how many pellets are in this shotgun. Uh, I haven't counted. I should probably go try that and see how many I get. But, you know, in hardcore, you have 30% health. And say you have six pellets. And to get a 100% uh, percent kill, so a one-shot kill, you need to hit maybe four. So each pellet does 25%. Should still almost be killing most people with a hip shot at most ranges. It shouldn't be a, uh, well, do I need to aim down sights here? Well, do I not? Can I just shoot from the hip? And I've run into some where, like, even if you're aiming down sights, like the R9 and the uh, VLK without the Dragon's Breath, you can aim down sight. And it still takes two shots. Not only can you have the shotgun stuck down someone's throat and firing, sometimes you can still miss the shot. I don't know if it's just me or if it's lag or something, but I had a few times that weren't recorded where I'd be directly on top of someone, shoot, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hit them. I don't know if it was just... The server is showing me on my side that they were there and they weren't actually there or what but I'm gonna run some of the clips I have of the shotguns missing right now and uh, or getting hit markers and then I'll talk more from there Let's go. 
So going over these clips of, you know, the shotgun shots missing or getting hit markers, you know, I think all the shotguns in this game really suck. The 725 is good, but it, you know, it has its times that it loses out to the M4 or the MP5. I've had it even lose out to some LMGs if people are just hip firing around the corner or something. They can seem to kill me faster than I can get a shot off with a shotgun. So, in that case, I think all the shotguns should have a, uh, a little buff to their, uh, I guess, chambering. To when you, that first time you pull the trigger and it shoots. And, uh, there's also another shotgun, I forget which one it is, I think it's the R9. So you can kill someone in the one shot with the R9, but if you have to, on the second person, take a second shot, the second, sh the, the third shot that you're taking in total will take longer to chamber than the first two did. So it just doesn't really make sense to me why that would happen, because mostly shotguns need more than one shot to kill someone, even if you're at pretty good distance. So... I don't get why they do this. It's already such a slow gun. It's so... And this is in hardcore again. This is not regular. This is in hardcore that they're taking two and three shots to kill. That's 30% health. Could you imagine trying to play regular? And if you had to take two or three shots? I don't know. These are just my thoughts. Um... They should buff some of the shotguns. Be okay with the dragon's breath. Perfect. All the shotguns should have that one shot potential. Or the ability to add accessories on to make them that one shot potential. Um, hardcore, regular, whatever. There, that is the best addition I've seen to a gun. In most Call of Duties. Well, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, don't. Um, if you leave a dislike, tell me why in the comments. Uh, I'll enjoy your feedback. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it down below. 